All right, uh, we are going over how to set up our Zmodo NVR and IP cameras that all came in our Zmodo kit. Um, yeah. So the box looks like this. It should come with four of these, four power cables, four network cables for the cameras. Um, this is the NVR that came with the mouse. Um, you would also got a, a little yellow CD and that's where we're gonna start for this. So, so let's do that, let's start. Um, fun fact, you don't actually need a internet connection to get the NVR communicating with the cameras. Um, all you need is a router. It doesn't even need to be connected to a modem or anything. So um, that's kind of neat. If you want a standalone unit that is primarily wireless without um, having internet, that's an option. Um, one thing, if you haven't even started yet, one thing to know that will make life easier, um, I highly recommend setting up the cameras first before you network with NVR. Um, get all of your cameras connected and talking to your router, either hardwired or wireless, whatever is your preference, uh, before you even tinker with the NVR whatsoever. Um, there are some settings that you can change in the NVR where if you change them before you connect your cameras, it makes it harder for the NVR to find the cameras later on. So let's start with the cameras first. Um, the, yeah, the NVR came with this little yellow disc that we're going to want to put, we're going to want to start by putting in our computer. Um, it's got to be a Windows computer. I haven't gotten it working on a Mac whatsoever. I don't think it works on a Mac whatsoever. All right. Um, there's going to be a lot of softwares that come up on this CD, and we only really need to pay attention to one of them for right now. Um, It should come up eventually, but I'm being impatient. Oh, there it is. All right. All right. Open. We want the one called IP Search Tool, and this tool is gonna just show us all of the items that are on the network. Um, no items are on the network, so that's normal. We want to power up one of our cameras. And we want to connect this camera to the network. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so this is our camera. Um, this LAN cable is going to our router directly. Um, and this is powering the camera. The camera is wireless, but the very first time you set it up, it's gotta be hardwired to the router. Um, there's our router. All right, so if I go in here and I press refresh, I should find it. That light's green, that's good. It's taking a minute. There it is, great. All right, so it tells us that the IP of the camera is 192.168.1.102. That's good. Um, we do want to do some stuff in our computer to make sure that, that is correct. Um, and this next part that we're gonna go over is the hardest part. So if we get through it, then we're doing really good. All right, so open up your start menu and in the little field over here, type in CMD and then enter and it'll show you this black Screen up here. Up here, you want to type in IP config. IP config. Yes. All right, now it's going to tell you a whole bunch of information about your internet. Um, basically, we want to look at the IPv4 address, the subnet mask, and the default gateway. Um, the IPv4 address is like the identity of your computer on the network. Um, the subnet mask, I don't know what it is, but we'll get to it later. The default gateway is like the identity of your router. Okay, what we wanna do now is go back to the search tool and make sure that some important things on the camera match um, your internet. All right, double click on the camera. You're gonna see some networking options. What we wanna do now is compare um, some fields here. So the IP that you see on this screen, this is going to be the identity of your camera. Um, we want it to be, we want to have the same first three segments 
as the identity of your computer, but we don't want the fourth segment to be the same because then they would both have the same identity and bad things would happen. Um, all right, so we've got for the computer, IPv4 address is 192.168.1.142, and the IP on the camera is 192.168.1.102. So that's perfect. Um, we can change this last segment to um, really anything we want. Um, let's do 110 because the last three digits can be anything between like 100 and I think 240 in that range. Okay, the gateway. We want the gateway in the screen to be the same as the gateway in this little black screen. So this one says 192.168.1.1. This gateway says 192.168.1.1. That's perfect. That's the way we want it to be. And the subnet mask. I don't know what it is still, but it's important. We want them to be the same. The subnet mask on this black screen says 255.255.255.0. Um, we want this to also say 255.255.255.0. I've never seen a subnet mask that has a different number than that, but if it does, you want to change your camera's submask to match what it says in this black screen. So now, um, we, when we save, we should immediately see the camera's IP change from 102 to 110. And it did. Awesome. Now we want to get the camera set up on Wi-Fi. Um, and to do that, we go to Internet Explorer. It's gotta be Internet Explorer um, because the camera uses a program called ActiveX and only Internet Explorer uses ActiveX. So, gotta use this. Okay, before we set it up on here, we need to change some settings in Internet Explorer. Um, also, it needs to be Internet Explorer 9 um, I couldn't get it working whatsoever on Internet Explorer 8 and had to upload to Internet Explorer 9. Alright, so for Internet Explorer 9, we go into this little gear and then we pick Internet Options. And from here, we want to go to the Security tab and then we go to Custom Level. Alright. Um, now we're going to see a whole bunch of things that we can either set to enable, disable, or prompt. We want to scroll down a little ways until we see something about download signed ActiveX controls. Um, there are three things that we want to make sure are set to prompt. Um, we want download signed ActiveX controls set to prompt. It already is. That's good. We want download unsigned ActiveX controls also prompt. So here we go. We want initialize and script ActiveX controls not marked as safe for scripting. Set to prompt. There we go. Um, it will also work if you set these to enable, but it's not recommended because you're easily accessible for hacking, I guess. So prompt is what we want for these three settings. Now we click on OK. Um, yes, I'm sure. And OK again. All right. Now what we want to do is um, put this in a place where we can see it. All right. So in the browser, we want to type in the identity of the camera, which is this number. Um, so in here, we want http colon ss forward slash um, all the time. Put that in there. All right. One nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one one ten. There we go. And we'll see our login screen for the camera. The login for the camera is the same as the login for the NVR. The default is admin, lowercase admin, and the password is six ones. So 111, 111. Um, default is English. That's good. Uh, click OK. And there we go. Um, by default, it won't just show you the picture right away. You have to double click on channel one and then you'll see the picture. It's right there. So, all right, so that is the image coming from this camera right here. Um, go into our screen right here. Um, now, as this is all being done so far without even plugging in the NVR, NVR is still off. Haven't used it yet. Okay, now we want to set up Wi Fi. Um, you can set up Wi Fi um, in the search tool by clicking on the Wi Fi tab. 
but sometimes it has trouble populating the list of Wi-Fi networks. It did it right now, um, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't even show you this list on the screen, so I think it's easier to do it on Internet Explorer. But the menu is going to be identical, whether you do it here or whether you do it um, in Internet Explorer. All right, so if we're going to do it in Internet Explorer, we want to click on the little gears and we'll get to a menu with some things. We want to click on remote configuration. We want to click on network param. All right. um, and now we want to click on the wireless settings tab and we'll see a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and it populated our list of wireless networks that we want to think about connecting to. Um, so first double click on the Wi-Fi network that you want to connect the camera to. Make sure it is your Wi-Fi network. Um, it, yeah, it's not recommended to use your neighbor's Wi-Fi network. And then you want to put in the password. Um, it doesn't give you an error message if you put in the wrong password, so we want to put in the right password and click connect. So, and we click connect. Operation is good. Um, it still says disconnected, but it's still loading. Let's see if it finishes loading and gives us the right message there. Uh, Alright, hit refresh, because it gave us an operating operation failed message. Um, sometimes it helps if we aim this straight up, even if the camera's laying on its side. We want the antenna straight up. Alright, let's try this again. Then we are... Password. And hit. Succeeded. And it's going to load. Hmm. Um, I'm actually going to try it from. You know what? It might get confused if I have both menus up at the same time. So I'm going to close this menu and try to get hmm. Open. Sometimes if things stop responding, you just have to close it and reopen it. Um, I do that relatively frequently with the search tool right here. If it's just not doing what you think it should be doing, you can close it and reopen it and it'll probably work. All right, so where are the settings? There we go. And connect. Succeeded. It's gonna load for a while and it's gonna give us good news or bad news. Try it from this over here. So I'm going to close this out and double click on this camera from right here. Wi Fi. Um, I think I know what I did wrong. I want this IP address to be 110, not 102. So that might be what happened. Alright. Double click on our network. Password. Connection. Now it doesn't give us an error message. What we want to do is just hit refresh um, and see if it took or not. And it should come back with a list of all the Wi Fi networks that may or may not. Alright, and it shows us as connected. Um, we want to hit refresh one more time just to make sure. And it still says connected, so that's good. Now, to close this out and go back here. Um, if we move the camera, it still moves. Now we're gonna try disconnecting this cable and give it a minute to reestablish connection and see if it still works. All right, so unplug this LAN cable and we are wireless. All right, um, we wanna do that same thing for all four cameras. So um, we'll talk later after I do that with three more cameras.